And I think this is why a lot of cats are getting out the game early, man. Let me take my money. I got money. <laughs> Go to my lawyer. Stop the cap. Mm -hmm. And get the heck up out of here with the brick. So again, uh, Bebo P's little cousin, man, or, or his brother that he adopted when he was a little, man. <laughs> Logic, man. Sold his catalog for eight figures, man. Now, name me one bar from Logic. Green bean casserole hip hop. You see the you see the milk? You see the Frenches on the top, you know what I'm saying? You see you see you see the uh that's sour cream and a little little uh mayonnaise on top of the green beans. J. Kemp. Yes, sir. Number one, how the heck this dude get this much bread out of the catalog? I mean, as much as you might want to call it green bean and mm. <laughs> throw a couple of arrows at him, he does have a base. Gotcha, uh, okay. All right, all right. And there's people who actually want to hear Logic's music. I'm not saying that that's a, a full allotment, but he does have a strong base. I mean, he he's obviously still been in the game this long for a reason. I mean, he he Sweet does DJ he Sweet. he does have some fans. He's got some crossover fans too. Uh, some people who's like fans of other genre music genres. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he's there. It is what it is. It's such it's it's, it's a great deal for him. It is uh, because he was he's never going to be like mainstream mainstream like the people we just got done talking about like the Cody Larrays the. Mm -hmm. Um, some of your female artists, uh, Ice Spices right now. He's never going to be mainstream, but he's got enough in his catalog because he's been doing music for so long. But this is a great deal for him because his music is probably not timeless. I agree okay. with that too, Madden. Okay. He's got some joints, man. I don't, I don't do. He's got some joints. Man saying that Bobby Tar uh, Tarantino tape has some joints on it. He can't it, lie. He's, um, he dropped one joint last year that has some joints on it too that was actually a really solid solid album okay um but he's got a lot of work and as long as you got like a cattle a serious catalog for somebody like him this is a great deal and plus he talked about wanting to put his family on i think okay. his brother right. his dad is 69. i think his dad wants to drop an album so he's living his dream man you know what i'm saying he's able to now kind of hey don't he got his own label as well, yeah, yeah, you guys on there. Well, Mama Bear go hard to Mama paint. Bear going tonight, in. Mama Bear going hard. That, uh, she talked about that Badusi in the air <laughs> at the Essence Fest. <laughs> now she talking about uh, saying that Logic is uh, Larry the Cable Guy now, basically. <laughs> Mama Bear said now he can start his own computer repair company. Stop it! Stop, Mama Bear. Larry the oh, Cable Guy. Give me a straight I do get that. Facts, uh, facts. Oh my God, she's ether in the night. The Devon saying Logic earnest fan base, I but they usually aren't loyal over the dropping years. bars. Devon dropping bars. Devon like going hard to paint tonight, man. He got out when he could to get that okay. eight figure deal and to basically be an indie. Well, he's not one hundred percent. Technically, I mean, like I say, he started like that, so he started like Whew. that. But I, I still think this is good fruits of your labor. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like this is a a good gotcha. earn. This is a good earn situation because he can flip that eight figures into something else, man, and kind of you know start something else. Like Mama said, maybe once do a computer repair job. Uh, Pi seven hundred. Are you gonna buy more Pokemon? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Gotta catch Facts. him more. Got him. Facts. Facts. Uh, but come again, on, man. man. But this is a good move guy. for him. This it is, is a good move man. for him. It though. is definitely, man. Really Pokemon is. cards still a thing, though. Yeah, man. It's still Gotta a thing, catch man. Him People out here still doing that. The Ash Ketchum style. <laughs> Pikachu out here. <laughs> <laughs> People still on oh, the Ash Ketchum style. Oh, well, well, this is other thing, too, man. This is uh, just reported in today. Nelly just sold his entire catalog 50% for 50 mil. Ashanti's expensive. You know what I'm saying? So he sold it for, he got 50 mil coming to him, man. Pause. 
That's a good move for him. That's though, a good move. But Nelly again, he so half no of it, so he's still getting paid. Not any good. <laughs> yeah. Not any good. Damn, so, Jay Kemp. Great move for Nelly. Uh, the beans said, don't, don't see burn logic. in the kitchen. kitchen. I mean, he got, came a long way from that, man. He ain't making them man. type of hits no more. Uh, Devon said, I don't see Logic being able to tour 20 years from now. Facts. I agree. Yeah, ex exactly. Like, you, you might yeah. as well get out while you can and get, and get the paper while you can. Nintendo don't play. Disney does. Though. Come on, man. Uh, the other man said, I remember my high school days going crazy over those things, man. A Pokemon? Facts, man. Okay, I see you. Go. All right. That is no, Nintendo uh, the Pirate swag. Dungeon and Dragon swag, man. You know how the nerds did Mama it. Bear said uh, her kid collect them. Salute. Salute to uh, Mama Bear daughter. Uh, but again, man, uh, do you see this still being a trend, man? Is are they seeing some? Because again, like like uh, Slim Thug said, what business do you get in where you sell your assets back to make money? So wouldn't you keep your cla yeah yeah your, your catalog, take him? My bad, my computer messed up. One good time. That's okay. What was that question again? <laughs> so I swear, I gotta be to cut you out. We like Slim Thug said, you in a business where the music business basically makes you think that you have to sell your assets to make money. Would you sell your catalog right now, J. Camp? Are, are they seeing something that we're not seeing? Because again, if they're putting this much money into these artists, they know something's coming back, man. But I, I, I think that question is kind of twofold, though. Okay. Because if you're somebody like Nas or Jay Z, why would you sell your catalog? Like they got mm. timeless records. Like there's no point okay. in selling that because they always going to have a sale. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But if you logic, it makes sense. It's not that it's not that logic is whack, but like Devon said, like he's got a specific fan base. And Fact. that fan base ain't gonna be around forever. Like you gotta cash nope. in. Like outcasts don't need to sell their catalog. You know what I'm saying? Scarface don't really need to sell his catalog. Like when you talk about people who have iconic records, they don't really need to sell their catalog. They don't. Well, like I said, what Gritty's saying, he uh he fuck with uh logic. He can rap, but who the F bought his catalog for eight hey, figures? That's the whole point, Gritty. If you can sell it for eight figures Thanks. and you logic, why not? You know what I'm saying? Because that's a question we all asking. Like, who really wanted to just cop that? Stop I forgot the what the uh, the group's name is. It like in Integral, or I know it starts with an I. Uh, the group that actually bought bought the because uh, uh, they bought Futures uh, stuff too. They bought something like 626 Futures. songs from Futures. So Futures sold his catalog to the same company, basically. Uh, Influence Media Influence. Partners. Influence. Influence. So, yeah. and like I said, I think they wanted to buy about two billy worth of uh, catalogs. You know what I'm saying? And they basically said they bought his catalog because they felt like it would cross gens. Fact. So they feel like they can make some bread off of it. I mean, those media companies yeah. do their homework. They they do their homework, man. Fact. They really do. I mean, like like the people who bought. Uh, it was a different company, but the people who bought. Uh, they like sold. They knew what they was doing. Yeah. Devon's basically saying, man, what do these catalog purchases say about them? Say about music over the past ten years? I think we already know the answer to that, Devon. Ain't been a whole lot of classics, bro. Nah. <laughs> and that's the issue this year, man. We ain't seen no number yeah. one, man. I don't even know if uh, Lil Uzi Vert even hit number one yet. Uh, he got a so, shot. Yeah. He's got a shot. 